Hey, it's me. So the other day when we were talking, I shared some thoughts about taking that first big step toward self-growth, self-improvement, the path to becoming or connecting with our higher self. You know, the idea of making a firm decision to commit fully with a holding back and how to tackle the challenges that come with them. So since then, I've been thinking about you and I want you to know that it feels really good. Like it's an honor to see someone take that initial step to witness that. I've noticed that sometimes people hear these ideas and they think that they don't apply to them, right? They might avoid making a commitment, believing, oh, I'm already on the quote unquote right path just because I pray occasionally or try to be a good person. Absolutely. That's a start. That's awesome. Commitment we're talking about. I think anyway, goes deeper than that. I think it's important to be honest around where we stand, where we're at. And knowing it's okay that we're not exactly where we want to be just yet. For those who've made the decision and entrusted themselves to a higher purpose, there's often an immediate sense of relief and inner joy. It feels good. And yet it doesn't last forever at the same time. And we're left wondering, you know, if tough times are going to return, why bother making this commitment at all? What's the point? Well, here's the thing. Once you've crossed that first threshold, it's the beginning of the journey. The real work starts here. And it's about not giving up rather steadily moving forward. That's the cost in a sense. And I promise you it's worth it. So I wanted to look at or think about the good things that you can expect on this path. You you know there's going to be challenges. It's just a part of life, the human condition. Times when sticking to your resolutions feels hard. If you keep recommitting your time and effort, the rewards become more real. They'll come slowly, not all at once, but they do come. When the spiritual side of life recognizes that we're serious about our decision, our commitment, and we're acting on it, even when we stumble at times, we receive extra support. We feel a stronger sense of guidance and protection. This heightened support can happen several times over a life, especially when we're experiencing these storms in our life or tests or are facing a choice. Now, even if you feel the support, don't assume you've fully crossed into the path of personal growth just yet. Why do I say that? It's important to understand that this path involves ongoing work on ourselves. It's about getting to know who we really are, accepting our imperfections, letting spiritual principles guide us to change from the inside out. So if we're not doing this kind of daily work with help from others when needed, are we truly on the path, right? If this is not a daily practice. So as we progress, we start to notice and receive meaningful insights. Guidance becomes clearer, helping us understand our journey better. What steps to take, what issues to tackle first. We start to see the real choices in our life and understand the purpose behind our personal challenges. It's that realization that I think is a major turning point, or I notice that being a major turning point in my own life. Like before, before that realization, Life's difficulties seemed random, unfair. It felt hard to cope. But once I reached that point, that realization, it was like a veil was lifted. And yeah, even when the tough times came in, 
I felt like I, I could handle them more easily. There was a greater resilience there. And I felt like I was getting help, not only with those storms, but also with everyday issues too, which didn't even seem possible before. The joy and inner freedom that I felt with each little victory is like anything else that I've experienced. Now, as I say that, you might be wondering, well, how do I start? What's my next step? And I think for everyone, it's different. I don't know is the answer, but you might need to address a specific issue that's blocking your way. It could be like a stubborn belief, a self-limiting belief that keeps you from being open to new ideas, maybe. Whatever that is, it's like identify it. Seek out support if you need to help, uh, need help with identifying whatever that is. And ask yourself to be open about it. Right, Because we often don't get the answers that we're looking for unless we're willing to say, I'm ready to accept the truth, even if it goes against what I've believed until now. Like Being open-minded is crucial. And sure, that takes work, that takes willpower, that takes time to get there. If you haven't put in that effort yet, Right, for whatever reason, you could start maybe by asking yourself, you know, what's holding me back? What are those flaws that are getting in my way? What have others pointed out to me, even if I didn't agree? Take some time to reflect on those things honestly and with a sincere desire to find the truth. Often, the more you resist acknowledging something, the more likely there's some truth to it, okay? So that's kind of a a red flag if you notice that. Make a list of those, I'm going to call them faults, but again, it's just things within us that are opportunities for learning and self-awareness, okay? So make a list of these faults to keep them in your awareness because that's going to help prevent them from slipping back into the background, And then, I mean, consider sharing that list with trusted friends or mentors, like people who can and are supporting you on this journey. Because by opening up, you're going to gain a deeper understanding and see the connections maybe that you hadn't noticed before. So I have a group, a small group of trusted friends and mentors that I share this kind of stuff with. And it's through that dialogue often, and often even just hearing other people's stories that I'm able to intuit these connections and learnings for myself. If you're willing to hear uncomfortable truths and say, I want to know the real me, even if it's hard, you will find that truth. You just will. And although it may seem counterintuitive, you'll actually feel happier when you discover truths you've been resisting because it confirms that you're growing and that there's more to this journey than just wishful thinking or wishful hoping. When you receive insights that challenge you, it's a sign that you're connecting with something greater and it strengthens your faith in the process. And that's just the beginning. As you continue, you'll notice everyday experiences differently and you can ask for guidance on what they mean for your growth. So be prepared to face uncomfortable truths repeatedly. It's not just a one-time deal, right? So stay open to them because if you close yourself off, the truth can't reach you. It's got nowhere to go. Sometimes answers I've noticed come through other people Okay, so keep your eyes and ears open to that. That often requires humility and a willingness to help, accept help from others. So when we pass that test, so to speak, you'll start to notice more profound experiences that confirm, that validate you're on the right path. 
eventually, as you solidify your work on yourself, as the self-awareness grows, you feel a desire to give back out from this place of gratitude. At first, it can feel like a sacrifice, right? When we heed this calling, it often feels like a sacrifice, giving up time or making a big effort. And it's easy, it's very human to focus on what we're losing rather than what it is we're gaining. But those who take this step soon realize you receive so much more than you give. What once felt like a sacrifice becomes a source of great joy. Some of you might find specific roles or tasks emerging, right? You might have opportunities to help others in unique ways with your unique gifts, maybe guiding people who have special abilities or offering healing to those in need. If it feels like... um a side hustle or not yet part of your life, don't worry, like these tasks are not going to interfere with your regular life. They'll only enrich it. For some, it, that will become, you know, the life and work um, coincide. It just becomes part of who you are and what you do. Trust the process. Be open to where it leads you. Remember, the journey is available. It's open to everyone, each and every one of us. So don't think that only certain people can make this kind of connection or progress or do this work. All of us can, if we're willing to be open to it and stay open. Think about it. All our efforts, consciously or not, aim at overcoming obstacles and making life better. Technology. Technology tries to conquer physical limitations from the outside. What we're talking about, this path, we work from the inside out. This inner work is far more powerful, far more effective. I'm here for you. I'm excited about what lies ahead on your journey. Keep me updated and let's keep supporting each other as we move forward. I love you. Let's connect soon.